Hi students, um, we're back today with a quick pronunciation video um, thinking about some of the difficult pronunciations that we find in standard spoken American English and how these words are reduced by native speakers of American English. Um, not every speaker will reduce these words in the same way, but a majority of the speakers will be reducing these words in a similar manner. Uh, let me jump over here. We've looked at three different sets of difficult vocabulary for this reduced pronunciation. Um, if you haven't checked out those videos, they're going back to pronunciation video number one, pronunciation video number two, and pronunciation video number three are going to be the three videos practicing reduced pronunciation of specific difficult words. Remember when we talk about the pronunciation, we talk about syllable. Syllable is how many sections, how many pieces, how many chunks of sound are in the word. So the word syllable, syllable, can be divided into three pieces. Um, my name, Amy, 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 can be divided into two syllables. Um, the word teacher can be divided into three syllable, into two syllables, teacher. Um, difficult, three syllables, difficult. Very often, the number of syllables in the word depends on the number of vowels in the word. However, this is not always accurate. And the written word and the clear pronunciation of the word compared to the reduced pronunciation of the word is what we are talking about today. So as I said, this idea of clear form, um, the beautiful, crisp, clear pronunciation compared to the reduced form is the difficult part. Um, again, if you like this video, make sure to go back and check out pronunciation videos number one, two, and three that are also focusing on specific vocabulary that has this bad American English pronunciation or this cut, this reduced American English pronunciation. All right, let's jump into it. The first word we're going to talk about. Now, my beautiful, clear pronunciation of this word looks like it should be favorite. My favorite color. My favorite food. Remember that favorite, favorite means something I like the most. But my, my reduced pronunciation, I'm saying favorite. Favorite. Uh, what's your favorite beverage? The word beverage we talked about in video three, I think, beverage. What's your favorite beverage? There is a short form that I feel is used by young people in the United States to say fave. I feel like I'm too old to say fave. Um, my fave, that's my fave thing to do. Um, maybe, maybe I'm young enough, but I feel too old to say my fave, my favorite. My favorite restaurant, my favorite food, my favorite beverage, my favorite color. This word, um, I need to make a whole grammar video talking about this word. Remember that this word has a feeling of um, future plan, of future plan. The really bad pronunciation, it's all squished together. And I hear people say, spos, supposed, to, supposed. Supposed. And usually this is supposed, supposed, supposed to. And so often it's shortened to sound like supposed to, supposed to. I'm supposed to go to the restaurant. I'm supposed to go to the restaurant. This sound of supposed to. The supposed, supposed, supposed to. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to go. I think supposed. I will put into its own video for the grammar side of it. We also have this piece, supposedly, which seems like it should have four. Supposedly. 
supposedly, the adverb form. But my really bad pronunciation is supposedly. Supposedly, he's going to go. Supposedly, he's going to call me. Supposedly. This word is very difficult for people who are born in this country or people who are coming new to this country because it looks like it should have three pieces. It looks like it should be pronounced Wednesday. But my pronunciation is actually Wednesday. Wednesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. This D at the beginning, completely gone. Wednesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. Another really painful pronunciation for people born in this country, people learning English as their first language, people learning English as their second or third or tenth language, because it looks like this should be Feb Ru L E because of the R here. But most of the time, this R is completely skipped. And we still have four pieces. We still have four pieces, but you don't hear the R. And I say, February, Febu, February, February. Her birthday is in February. Her birthday is in February. February is my favorite month. Favorite, favorite. Actually, February is not my favorite because February in North Dakota is pretty bad. Our last word today is missing at the top. Our last word today is reference. Reference. And when I look at the word reference, if you look here in the middle, I completely forgot to put it up at the top. The word looks like it should be reference. Reference. But in my spoken English, in my pronunciation, I'm saying reference, reference, two pieces. Put my name as a reference for your job. Here, plural becomes three pieces, references, references, because of the plural. Reference, references. Ah, oh, there's my word reference. All right, looking back at these five pieces, our word favorite, favorite, my favorite color, my favorite beverage, supposed, supposed, supposed to go, supposed to go, supposedly, Wednesday, Wednesday. This is not Wednesday, Wednesday, mm-mm, nah, -uh. Wednesday. This really weird pronunciation. February. 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 And our last word on this list reference. Reference. All right, that's it for our short pronunciation lesson today. Let me know in the comments how was this lesson. All five of them are easy. All five are difficult. Which ones are easy? Which ones are difficult? Um, let me know if you have some other pronunciation that you would like to work on in the upcoming lessons. And I'll see you soon. Bye.